On September 1, 1859, the Earth was struck by the biggest solar storm ever recorded. This event, now known as the Carrington event, provided a stark demonstration of the power of the Sun and its potential to disrupt life on Earth. It is a story of dazzling auroras, sparking telegraph lines, and a scientific mystery that continues to fascinate us today. Before 1859, the idea that the Sun could directly affect events on Earth beyond providing light and warmth was barely considered. But the Carrington event changed everything. It showed that the Sun could unleash enormous blasts of energy across the vastness of space, with the potential to cause havoc on our planet. The event served as a wake-up call to the scientific community. It made them realize that the Earth is not isolated in space, but is intricately connected to the Sun's activity. The Carrington event became a turning point in our understanding of space weather, a field that studies the Sun's influence on Earth. Today, more than 160 years after the Carrington event, its story serves as a reminder of the awesome power of the Sun and the need to understand and prepare for future solar storms. Richard Carrington, a dedicated amateur astronomer in England, was engrossed in his usual routine of projecting the sun's image onto a screen and sketching its features. On that fateful September morning, he observed something extraordinary. Two brilliant points of light, far brighter than any sunspot he had ever witnessed, appeared within a large sunspot group. These bright lights were solar flares, intense bursts of energy and radiation erupting from the sun's surface. Carrington, aware that he was witnessing a phenomenon of unprecedented magnitude, meticulously recorded the event. He even interrupted his observations to fetch another witness, confirming that his eyes weren't deceiving him. Unbeknownst to Carrington, another English astronomer, Richard Hodgson, was also observing the sun that day. Hodgson, independently of Carrington, also documented the unusual solar flare activity. Both men's accounts would later become crucial in establishing the link between the solar event and the remarkable terrestrial effects that followed. Their observations made on that seemingly ordinary September day would forever be etched in the annals of astronomy. They had witnessed the most powerful solar flare ever recorded, an event that would later bear Carrington's name and become synonymous with the immense power of the sun. Just hours after Carrington and Hodgson made their observations, the Earth was bombarded by a barrage of charged particles from the Sun. This solar storm, as we now know it, unleashed a spectacular light show across the globe. Auroras, shimmering curtains of light in the sky, painted the heavens with vibrant hues. Typically confined to high latitudes near the Earth's poles, the auroras during the Carrington event were visible much further south. People as far south as the Caribbean and Hawaii were treated to this celestial spectacle. Newspaper reports from the time described the auroras as so bright that one could read a newspaper by their light. These auroras weren't just a visual treat. They were a visible manifestation of the Earth's magnetic field being battered by the sun's energetic particles. The beautiful display of light was a stark reminder of the invisible forces at play in the space between the sun and our planet. The widespread visibility of the auroras during the Carrington event underscores the immense power of the solar storm. It demonstrated that the sun's influence could extend far beyond its usual reach, affecting regions of Earth that rarely experience such phenomena. The Carrington event's impact went beyond dazzling auroras. The world in 1859 was experiencing the dawn of a new technology, the telegraph. This invention, which used electrical signals to transmit messages across long distances, was about to get a shocking lesson in the power of space weather. As the solar storm hit Earth, telegraph systems worldwide went haywire. Operators reported sparks flying from their equipment, some even receiving electric shocks. Telegraph paper spontaneously caught fire and systems became unresponsive or transmitted garbled messages. The disruption to the telegraph network was widespread and long-lasting. In some cases, it took hours for systems to recover. The incident highlighted the vulnerability of the emerging electrical infrastructure to the sun's unpredictable outbursts. Imagine the chaos and confusion this caused. In an age reliant on telegraphs for communication, the Carrington event served as a stark reminder that even our most advanced technologies were susceptible to the whims of the sun. Section 5. 
the Earth as a giant magnet. The Carrington event provided more than just a spectacle and technological disruption. It offered a crucial insight into the Earth's protective shield, its magnetic field. This invisible field acts as a barrier, deflecting most of the sun's harmful radiation and charged particles. During a solar storm, the Earth's magnetic field is compressed and distorted by the onslaught of solar particles. This interaction is what drives the auroras as charged particles are funneled towards the poles, where they interact with the atmosphere, creating the shimmering light shows. The Carrington event, with its intense auroral displays and widespread geomagnetic disturbances, provided a unique opportunity to study the Earth's magnetic field in action. Scientists were able to observe how the field responded to the solar storm and how it ultimately protected our planet from the worst of the sun's fury. This event marked a turning point in our understanding of the Earth's magnetosphere. It highlighted the crucial role of this invisible shield in protecting life on Earth from the sun's constant barrage of charged particles. Section 6. A Scientific Revolution the Carrington event wasn't merely a celestial spectacle, it ignited a scientific revolution. Before 1859, the connection between solar activity and terrestrial disturbances was largely unrecognized. The Carrington event, however, provided undeniable evidence that the sun could directly impact our planet. The observations of the solar flare by Carrington and Hodgson coupled with the subsequent auroral displays and telegraph disruptions provided the first clear link between a solar event and its effects on Earth. This realization revolutionized our understanding of the Sun-Earth connection. The Carrington event spurred a new era of research into space weather, a field that studies the Sun's influence on Earth and its technological systems. Scientists began to recognize the importance of monitoring solar activity and understanding the potential risks it posed to our increasingly technological world. This event, marked the beginning of a journey to unravel the complexities of space weather and its implications for humanity. It pushed scientists to delve deeper into the sun's behavior and develop ways to predict and mitigate the effects of future solar storms. Section 7, The Modern Threat. In today's technology-dependent world, a Carrington-level event could have far more devastating consequences than in 1859. Our modern society relies heavily on a vast and interconnected network of power grids, satellites, communication systems and GPS, all of which are vulnerable to the effects of space weather. A powerful solar storm like the Carrington event could cripple power grids, leading to widespread blackouts that could last for weeks or even months. Satellites, vital for communication, navigation and Earth observation, could be damaged or even knocked out of commission. Communication systems, including radio, television and internet services, could experience significant disruptions. GPS systems, used for everything from navigation to financial transactions, could become unreliable or unavailable. The economic and societal impacts of such disruptions are difficult to overstate. The Carrington event serves as a stark reminder of our vulnerability to extreme space weather events. While we have made significant strides in understanding and monitoring the sun, our technological dependence makes us more susceptible to its effects than ever before. Section 8. Predicting the Sun's Fury Since the Carrington event, scientists have made considerable progress in understanding and monitoring solar activity. Spacecraft like SOHO, the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, and SDO, the Solar Dynamics Observatory, continuously observe the Sun providing valuable data about its behavior. These space-based observatories track sunspots, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections, massive bursts of plasma and magnetic field from the sun's atmosphere. By studying these phenomena, scientists can better understand the processes that drive space weather and improve their ability to predict solar storms. Despite these advancements, predicting solar storms with pinpoint accuracy remains a significant challenge. The sun is a complex and dynamic object and its behavior can be difficult to anticipate. While we can often detect when a solar storm is heading towards Earth, predicting its intensity and potential impact remains an area of ongoing research. The quest to predict solar storms is a race against time. The more we learn about the sun's behavior, the better prepared we will be to protect 
our technological infrastructure and mitigate the impact of future Carrington-like events. Section 9. Conclusion. A stark warning from the past. The Carrington event, a dramatic episode in the annals of space weather, serves as a stark warning from the past. It reminds us of the immense power of the sun and its potential to disrupt life on Earth, even in our technologically advanced age. The event highlights the importance of continued research into space weather, the development of accurate forecasting models, and the implementation of mitigation strategies to protect our critical infrastructure. As our reliance on technology grows, so too does our vulnerability to the sun's unpredictable outbursts. The Carrington event is not just a historical curiosity, it is a wake-up call. It underscores the need for vigilance and preparedness in the face of potential threats from the star that gives us life. By heeding the lessons of the past, we can work towards a future where we are better equipped to weather the storms the sun might send our way.